man, gotta love unsweetened tea. guys Prince Sports here don't forget to comment like subscribe now I want to talk about none other than Spencer Dinwiddie all right he was on a, a podcast some interview some interview type show and he said that a two-time champion defensive player of the year um, two-time finals MVP Kawhi Leonard will never be mentioned in a GOAT conversation but the shocking part to that is he said it because he said Nike was to blame, okay? So he claims that Kobe, uh, Michael Jordan, and LeBron James are only in the GOAT conversation because of Nike and how Nike promotes them, okay? And he says these words, Nike is the greatest marketing company in the history of the world, especially when it pertains to all-time greats basketball he's basically a basketball conversation if you look at the best athletes in the world they have something in common a common denominator nike lebron nike kobe nike jordan nike you know they have a story that backs up for everybody now my problem with what he's saying is dog in order for nike to promote you they don't promote you as being the GOAT. They never really do. Um, you have to still perform on a basketball court to be considered the GOAT, okay? And there's still levels of things that you have to do individually and team success-wise. You gotta accomplish both. You gotta have a stacked resume. Now, I do agree with him that Kawhi being on a top five all-time greatest list, the GOAT conversation, that may be a little hard to get. It may be a little far-fetched because um, a couple of his seasons went by when he wasn't winning individual awards. He'll be starting late, but it's still not out of the possibility. It's still not out of the realm of doing that. He's still possible. He still have the capabilities of doing that. Only difference is it's going to be a little hard for him to do that and be considered the GOAT. Of course, winning got to be on top of it, but the individual awards got to come there as well. All right. Now, this also pertains to a lot of people that keep harping on the NBA being rigged and stuff like that. So now this adds on to credence to people that think, hey, in order to be the GOAT, you just got to be marketed by Nike or things of that nature. And I, I heavily disagree with that, man. And I actually had someone tell me today. Sorry for that. My camera just cut off for some weird reason. But anyway, I had a person that talked it to me today that said, you know, this this lockout, this strike that the NBA player is doing, the minute LeBron and Kawhi Leonard, you know, the Clippers and Lakers, said, you know, forget it. We may not want to play. The, the NBA um, know they was in trouble. Basically, he was it, um, pointing at that. If the Lakers leave the playoffs, if the Clippers leave the playoffs, without those two guys, the NBA is nothing. Okay, so basically he's saying the NBA needs LeBron James for the playoffs, for ratings, because it is a business at the end of the day, too. Now, I agree with him when he told me that it is a business, but not necessarily about that they need it for ratings or stuff like that, because the NBA did just fine last year without LeBron James being even in the playoffs. So it's possible. You always got new stars that you're marketing and on the come up. But yeah, LeBron is the biggest star in the NBA. The NBA is star-driven. That's that's a given. But you don't need your best star <laughs> to be in the playoffs to for the NBA to be successful. Even in the pandemic uh, like this, all you need is just some good, old-fashioned, clutch, fun-to-watch basketball. Prince Sports out. Keep it 3,000.